Okay, hello and welcome back to Dragon Fist VR Kung Fu. Okay, I just want to do a quick video talking about the new kick feature. So in the last video, someone had suggested um, that the Kung Fu isn't Kung Fu without kicks. And I think that's a fair comment. And it's not the first time someone's asked about kicks. I think often with these things, even though I might be resistant initially, uh, they're a bit of a warning sign of, of what everyone's going to be saying. So often with these things, I think it's good to, to try them before discounting them. And I have tried them in this, and in this case, I think they work well. They add, add more to the more to the game. So uh, basic kicking uh, setup is right thumbstick. You can already, already use it to turn left and right. And if you use it, press up, you can jump. And now if you press down, it will kick towards wherever you're uh, looking or wherever your head's pointing. So, and if I look to my left, so my stance will be a bit uh, sideways, it will do a, a more of a side kick. I know it's quite dark in this room. Uh, these kicks can also be used to hit uh, pressure points. So for example, maybe I go for the knee, missed. There you go, hit the knee, therefore he's gonna walk slowly for a few seconds. Other obvious ones, ribs. <laughs> I was going for the groin. I think that groin, yeah. So you can see actually it's a bit more difficult to be accurate with the kicks, you know, maybe this is uh, realistic, who knows, maybe not, but it's, um. You know, it's in terms of the game, it's a kind of a limiting factor. So you get extra reach with the kick, but at the same time, it's harder to be a as accurate as it might be with the hands. Uh, another limitation of it is uh, you're committed at the speed you're going so, to, to an extent. So if I'm moving forward and I kick, I'll keep moving forward, regardless of if I uh, change with the left thumb. If I'm on the spot, I kick, I'm kind of, I can't start walking till that foot's come back down again. Uh, that, that means that uh, when, you, if you throw a kick, then you're, um, and you miss, then you're vulnerable to their counter. You can't run away quite as easily as you would otherwise. Okay, so um, I thought people might want to be able to do a jumping kick. So if you do jump, as in with up, if you say, uh, you can press down quickly after, up, down, bang. <laughs> uh, to do a flying kick, but they're, oh, there you go, got him. They're quite difficult to land, but I think, you know, quite fun and quite satisfying to land. Uh, the, the, the kick mechanics also um, uh, give, uh, give me a few special move ideas. So I have... Uh, spear kick which is a bit like the spear punch in another in the previous video you press uh, you press kick instead and you kind of fly towards them doing a kick I've got uh, two others I've got the thunder kick which is like a just a, a fast powerful kick with a with a special effect on it and then the no shadow kick which slows time temporarily but allows you to kick at normal speed sort of simulating a uh, an ultra fast superhuman kick okay uh, also yeah it gi it gives you more to think about with the opponents with uh, you know when they're when you've got to worry about feet coming in as well it feels more like more like kung fu but that said i think um i probably will add the option to switch them off if you just want a, a hands only uh setup and also i think hope in the future I mean, I can't promise it, but I hope that, you know, maybe you can add some foot tracking. That might be quite cool. Some leg tracking so you can do the kicks your, yourself. There's certain things that will make that difficult, but, you know, it might be fun. It'll be fun to try, I think. Okay, so if you have any questions about the kicks. Um, oh, yeah, I was just going to say about the stance. Uh, so the foot position, of course, it's kind of predicting where your feet will be. Uh, but I, I'm... I'm almost uh, mirroring the the hands on a delay. So if I have left hand forward, right hand back, and I walk forward, and I look down now, you'll see I'm in more of a sideways stance. So I'll be doing a side kick. If I 
uh, bring the hands more square on and look down then I'm in more of a, a square stance which means front kick so by doing that you know hopefully it'll uh, you'll have some influence over how you're doing your kicks uh, the uh, other thing of course is it will use the closest leg to the target to do the kick and yes I'm hope I'm adding in <laughs> adding in a few things in the scenery that you can kick and and um, have a have a slight effect on I hope there'll be think some things you can smash as well that might be quite that might be quite fun but maybe something for another video okay if you have any uh, thoughts on kicking um, I hope that's hope that's sufficient amount of kicking f to keep you happy. I think it will. I think it will do. I mean, I c could, you know, I have got some other ideas, but I think um, I don't want the game to be all about, you know, pressing a button and your character doing a move. I want you to do the moves. So I think this just adds a, an extra dimension without being, without being too much. Okay. So yeah, as I say, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I'll try and get I'll get around to the other videos soon. They take me a lot longer than I than I imagine. Uh, also, yeah, uh, wish list the game on Steam if you haven't already. Dragon Fist VR Kung Fu. Okay, thanks all. Bye for now.